We're going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. We'll get started with the <coughs> pledge and then invocation by Commissioner Davis. Oh, you know he's turning it off there. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
proposal for one HME commercial 1500 gallon per minute pumper. Sure, what it's on. <clears throat> Bid price is three hundred and eighty four thousand two hundred and sixty five dollars. David, let me turn this over. Uh, Were all the specifications on these things like? I mean, you know, <coughs> I don't know until I get a chance to look through it. Yeah, it's going to take some time to go yeah, through all of them just because there's so much to it. Are reps here? I know all three of you. Okay. I assume that, but I don't want to make assumptions. So. so the H and is actually from 911 Fleet and Fire. Okay. Well, I see that now, but I'm just. Okay. What's the vehicle? What? It's what was back to Freightliner. Freightliner, okay. Yeah. Do you have any questions, David? Uh, Why you're. The RPFs that was in the big packet, are they included in there in the show? Yes or no, whether or not the equipment we requested on there? Should be, yes or okay. yes. That'd be a big thing. We kind of set out. Options, what we're looking for, and they can put yes or no whether or not there be a, be a quick reference we can kind of look through and then go through them. Okay. Okay. Do you all have any questions for us? Uh, you mentioned our name is Atlantic Energy Solutions. It's Atlantic Emergency Solutions. Or, I'm, or I may have misheard. But I have, there's no telling what I said. <laughs> he did say energy. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, Atlantic Emergency Solutions. I guess my only question would be your timetable. I mean, I mean, you're going to try to pretty quick. Pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. 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 We have to have a special call. We can. Yeah, we'll have to have a special call meeting. We won't wait till the July meeting to do it. We'll have a special call okay. meeting. June. Let's, let's be June, June meeting. meeting. It's, it's just my. Yeah. Uh, I hope so. I'm trying to get through. I got <laughs> stuff. I got stuff to do. Places to go. Will we be allowed to come to the special meeting to hear? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's open to the public. Yeah. Okay. And like I say, if you have any questions, with David, or if you all want to, you need to sit down with David and I. I think you have to go through those, and he'll have yeah. questions. That's. Right. Yeah, my questions probably after we go through that. If y'all want to get those, you're totally free. They're, they're in here. They're up here. Where are we going to meet them? As many can as we do. Their cards are in the books. So I don't think they'll be more than back in the box in here for you. They put them back in here for you. I just, if y'all have any questions for me, I'll be excused. Okay. He'll be no the problem. One. We appreciate y'all. Those two back there will be the ones back. Appreciate y'all's interest. In. All right. Thank you all. Thank you. I, I wouldn't worry about the boxes. Okay. Be careful there. Way to go, David. <laughs> Rub it in. Rub it in. Somebody's been to New Orleans this weekend without me. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. yeah. uh -oh. have too many beignets? Instead of the second honeymoon. All the beignets are in <laughs> Joan, did you just go to Cafe Du Monde or did you eat the other? That's the only one we had been using. Yeah, the other one's better. Yeah. Okay. So we don't have to make a decision on this yet. We want to get up. No, we'll we have to turn them over. To, these guys will have to go smart. through it. I think it is. Uh, all bids were within $7,000 of each other on yep. a $380 some thousand dollar project. It's pretty what good. Low bid? dollars $380, $872. And high bid with 387, 387 240 So less than $7,000 between them. Are you familiar with the company that's the low bidder? Mm -hmm. Is there one you Until I looked through the, the bid specs, I'd say that'd be my recommendation. Well, I realize. I still would like to look at them. Sure, because anything can be inside there that needs to be looked into. But. All right. Next item first reading of the 21 22 budget. 
Can we go, can we do it at the end of the meeting, please? We can. Okay. Next item is the landlord responsibility on the, did we do the first reading last? I don't think so. We didn't, did we? We were just gonna send it to AV. Yeah. He's not here. So we'll go on down to the next item, the land and water resolution. And this is for the grant we've already approved applying for. I just need to approval of the resolution. Make a motion to approve the resolution for the land and water grant. Second. We have a motion seconding further discussion. Those in favor, saying about that. Uh -huh. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Mike, you have anything? Mm -hmm. David, Mark? Code or fire? <laughs> Cindy? Um, I just wanted to ask behind my house, the fence line on Goshen, mm -hmm. uh, all that. Trees that grew up in another hanging, I can't like mow like four feet of my backyard. Is this for me to clean or cut or get someone to come in and cut it? Yeah, I know where she lives. She lives real close to where you live. You'd probably. You know, your first spot would probably be would start with the state. House backs up against Goshen Road. On the, is it Barnes? This is Goshen and her I'm sorry? It's not in my yard. It's on the other side. It's on the other side. Yeah. It says state highway and state right away. Okay. That's, I'm not trying to pass the buck, but oh, it's no. it's not, it's, they'll have to be the ones to, right. would you? Mark? <laughs> they threw you under the bus big yeah, time, he, didn't he they? Is the, he works for state highway. Yeah, I do work. It's on Goshen Road right up here, Mark. Where did you turn down Goshen? Tiffany Hound Schroeder's. Do you know where the bad intersection is up to up to the stoplight? She lives in on that stretch right where kind of where it floods down there. Yeah. On this side. Yeah. Okay, I I won't be there tomorrow because I have an eye appointment. But Wednesday morning I will I will talk to my supervisor over there and tell your situation. Okay. And when you will come down and look at me. If it's on our roadway. We'll okay. That's right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. James, you have anything? Not that I can think of. Sandy? I just, I, Larry, I apologize. I should have asked you before, but where are we on cleaning out ditches? I know you start and stop and start and stop. And the, we, we try to hit everything downtown. We're trying to hit a spring in fall, we, we have. Uh, we've done some on the north, uh, but this time of year, the ditching is kind of on the back burner. Yeah. So uh, the last several big rains we've had, the flooding that we normally have had downtown is not here. I'm not saying what we've done and fixed it, because the state has done a lot on Highway 62. Right. right. Uh, I think it's a combination of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the bunch. yeah. The ditch that runs along um, Madison mm -hmm. between 3rd and 4th, mm -hmm. have you looked at that? We I wonder if it needs some cleaning out because there's some islands in it. We dished it out last fall, and what we have done, what we're going back and doing, we're actually making it a little bit wider at yeah. uh, the bottoms. Uh, we, we did not do that this spring, uh, but we, we did hit it last fall, but we didn't widen it, but we can't. Okay. All right, and then as far as debris and stuff that's in it, who is responsible for that? Because I noticed that one of the, where it goes under the, to the tile, is just full of tree limbs. I like to think the homeowners will take care of it, but of course they don't. Yeah, we try to on our ditch, but on some of the other ditches. But normally when you get a rain that fills them up, there's not enough time to, <laughs> to get the debris out. Yeah, so. yeah. All righty. Okay. Charles? No, I'm in good shape. Kevin? Okay, a pickleball. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, these people are driving me insane. I love them to death, but they are driving me insane. We did, we did go ahead and do the. It's grant, been applied for, and, and it it's should have June first, or is it May? It should have a response sometime in June. Sometime in June. That's what I said. <coughs> they are already wanting to know if they can put, and, and this is on them. I did not have anything to do with it. They want to purchase their little club, I guess they call it. Wants to purchase a box and it's for blowers, nets, odd and end stuff that they need for the court and they're going to purchase it on their own. 
Yeah, we'd have to tell them where to put it, and I'm not real it's sure we know. Box. It's a storage box for equipment that they need. Like they blow their, these people are fanatical. I mean, I, I love them to dug in. I love them to death. And I've been over. I, I've met with them in Owensboro. I've met with them here. I've met with them in Owensboro again. I've met with them here again. They're good people, but they are. They're ready for us to get something done. And I know we haven't really officially done anything yet. I hate for them to spend money on something that we can't follow through with. But this box that they're talking about would need to be bolted to the ground so it couldn't be just picked up and taken off. And it also, if they're paying for it, we're not paying a dime for it. I mean, we, we could. could. If they buy it and bolt it to the ground, then we get the grant, then we got to take it back up. So. See, that's what I'm thinking, and I don't want to do that. So uh, I would, t I, I told you <coughs> wait to see what happened because who knows? We may have enough money left over. We can buy the box ourselves. And then they wouldn't even be out any money. But, but they're, they're really pushing to get this through. And I, 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 if you get approached by the pickleball people, run. Yeah. They're, they're, they, are, they are so many of them getting more and more and more. Hey, we senior citizens can get aggressive. <laughs> I tell you, the bad thing is these, these, these senior I'm citizens are people. aggressive anyway. Kidding? And they've really, I told somebody, I said, it's watching somebody that's never golfed in their entire life and all of a sudden they start golfing. And you know how their eyes get kind of crazy and they get, they got to golf all the time. Yeah. These play, people play pickleball every day. I mean, it's not like a once a week or once every other week. They play every day somewhere. They're playing in Owensboro. They play it. They'll play at, uh, uh, I don't know, I can't think of the little park out there on the east end, the west end of town. And then they'll play at the, the Woodsboro Christian Church. And then they'll play, they just play, travel and play everywhere. And it's a group of them. There's like 50. And they, they're they very fanatical. But I will say this, and, I, and I, I will say this very honestly. When I went to Woodsboro, I met the two people that are running their pickleball thing over there, the, the group that they have. They could not believe that Beaver Dam wasn't having any more trouble than we were trying to get this done. They, they just jumped through hoops over in Owensboro to get anything done. And, you know, we've been very, Larry's met with them, I've met with them, Paul's met with them, we've all, they come down here and met with us down here at the meeting, and they, they have applauded us because we're not, we're very easy to get along with, compared to the Owensboro people are. And uh, the Owensboro people want to come here and play. They're, they're dying to come here and play. So I think it, it's something we need to, get through if we can. I know we got to wait on the thing. I told him that. And I told him it had been pushed back. But it's interesting. They're going on the radio show, on Jerry's radio show. Oh, they're aggressive. I've been hit up at church about three or four times. I'm different, telling different you. People at church. Yeah. They're yeah. nicest people in the world, but boy, they're, they're very aggressive when it comes to this. They want it bad. Well, and I can understand that. I can too. No. And I can too. Like a kid with a yeah. but, but if we can get somebody to pay for half of it, I'd wait a month. Oh, <laughs> money, I told him, I said, anytime we get money, free money, I don't care how long it takes, we get free money. I mean, and it's not like, and that's like I had told, I think it was Charlotte I was talking to, it's not like some of these grants where you apply now and in December or January you find right. out you've been awarded and you're going to get it in the next September. Eight months later, yeah. You know, this is one, because not only are they supposed to make the announcement in June, they want the project signed, sealed, and delivered and finished by August 31st. Wow. Right. Yeah, it's, it's one of those quick, quick turnarounds. It's R -A -R -P, and, and I like. When I explained to them how we were doing it, because we sit, <laughs> the, we sit down with several yeah. people and broke it down and built it, they were amazed that we could do what we could do because our, for some reason, our tennis courts up there are made different than most tennis courts. Ours are 30 feet wider. So instead of getting three courts on one side, we can get four. And they were amazed They will be that. used too. And they're gonna be, I think they're gonna be used. So there'll be a total of eight courts if we use well, the whole thing? I'm only, I told Larry, I would just like to get the four done to see how No, I know, but there's enough space up there to do a we total of eight, eight courts. courts. And they could not believe that. They, they were shocked. They planned a big old tournament in Northboro. I saw it in papers. They, big, they actually asked us if we did it, would, would we want to get a tournament here? Oh, a statewide tournament. And I said, uh -huh. sure. <laughs> we do it for stuff like that all the time. That goes but very good. And Cindy, they're actually wanting to, to do some improvements to the, you know where the gazebo or whatever that thing is up there? Right. They're wanting to do some improvements there. And they, they don't care if they have porta potties. I was shocked. They said, well, well can we get a couple of porta potties? I said, porta potties are fine with us. We, you know, we don't have to rub sewer lines and all that. They're very, very easy to get along with, and they're, but they are the most fanatical people yeah, I've ever dealt with. Gum hole is not the word for them. Yeah, they're beyond that. They're, 
And they're nice as can be, but they are, I mean, they call me three and four times a week. Because they play in a winter. I thought you were bad. You're not even close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, you need to step up your game. Man. You're just getting hey, blown away. Teddy, that was a compliment. That is a wonderful compliment. compliment. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I do hope, and I, I want you all to be aware of it, because you need to, if you meet these people, tell them who you are, because they're going to pat you on the back and tell you what a great job you're doing. It's the most amazing thing. I, they are probably the most polite and, and receptive people I've had to deal with. I got some people here. they need to talk to then, get some lessons too. Yeah. Oh, I did have a question too. <clears throat> Where are we at on the well? Still waiting for state approval. What's their problem? Well, you're talking about They're state. state. Well, let me They're tell you. Worse than They're building. probably not even in the office, They're are they? Working from home. Yeah. So by the time it gets to whoever he is at home, it's going to be probably another month or two. Well, we'll be in a drought situation by then. Not with the rain we can have. It. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, we go from one extreme to the other. I know I was talking with friends. You you don't have this problem in Indiana and Tennessee and Georgia and Ohio, but in Kentucky, our governor still wants everything shut down. Yeah, the as far as the offices go. I, better not, I don't have anything to say about that. Yeah, I'm not going to say much either. Never Hmm? Just like the driver's license. Yeah, you can't get a driver's license anymore. Well, that's all I have was about the pickleball. Did you go get it? They wouldn't have charged Which is what I'd rather do. You had mail order. You can't go over and get That's one. what I did. Yeah. I, I I'd got my started one over today and didn't know it. I'd rather do that. That's, that's sad, though, point. when we won't take care of our people. Only, only if you want to make a change on your life. I'm not. I want to clarify I'm not blaming Shannon or the local office. It has nothing to do with them. They have no say in it. So you got to go online to get a license. No, you go over there and pick up an application, fill it out, and leave it in a drop box, and they'll mail it back to you. I printed mine from the internet and then mailed it over, and then they mailed my license to me. Gosh, I hope mine's not due for I a couple it. more years. <laughs> well, I'm afraid they're going to leave it like that. I don't like it. Yeah. I hope they don't leave it I like that. I can't this. imagine they would leave it like that. It would be nice if you had that. Option. Option, because I You just I, want I that like perpetual it. picture from 20 years ago on your driver's license. Yeah, yeah I got dark hair. <laughs> People look at it and look, and I'm like, I used to not color my hair. <laughs> oh, you do? I mean, I used to color my hair. <laughs> I was coming through an airport. It was either October or December, airport in New Orleans, and the young lady said, sir, uh, your license expired last February. I'm like, oh, okay. So I got mine taken care of. But So you can still do anything with an expired license, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, you done? Was done? Yes. Okay, I've got one thing to bring up, and Larry, my big too. You want, were you going to talk about junk days? Yes. Okay. Oh, should, yeah. Well, I've been called everything but a white man over this, but I don't care. These deadbeats is exactly what they are when they go to bring stuff in and from all over town. What about this? Our last two junk days that we had, spring and fall of 2020, spring pickup was 65 ton. The fall trash pickup was 56 ton. Our normal weekly pickup is about 25 tons. The spring 2021, we picked up 72.94 tons. One day. And one, and no, 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 well, no, no, one no. week. They could, they, were running, they were running two trucks. Four days, two days. 117 man hours. Where normally, on a regular day, we run uh, four hours, four Half hours on Tuesday, four hours on Wednesday, and seven hours on Thursday. Well, what I saw setting out this crane looked like they were a moving sale from two or three families. Yeah. Well, that's what I, I called Paul Sunday well, afternoon. And I saw two people from horse, no, not knocking on the branch or anybody's mad. I saw two people I personally know bringing, bringing stuff in and putting in trash. And we're the bad guys for yeah, calling them out guys. on it. Yes. I found that out too, but I don't care. <laughs> My suggestion would be if we're going to continue to do it, is there will be no more furniture, no furniture or appliances involved on it. That seemed to be, and mattresses. Well, Lord, mattresses, I didn't know how many mattresses you could throw away at any one time. I don't, I don't think, I mean, there was stuff I saw put out that. I didn't know that we accepted. It was like people cleaned out people's garages from 50 years ago. I mean, that's, that's putting a lot on the. Like microwaves. Lucky we had no one get hurt. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a lot of 72 ton. Well, and you, but in the past, we've never had anybody go overboard. I mean, we, we, had, we had to basically shut, shut down the whole city function, run two trucks. So we had six people, six of our nine guys, doing picking, picking up trash. And I had one person saying, well, you know, it's not coming out of your pocket, it's the city. I'm like, it's coming out of your pocket. No, it's the city paying for it. I'm like, where do you think it comes from? Yeah. People don't understand. They don't, Until you do this job, you don't They don't understand. It. They think, well, the city's paying for it. I'm not. Well, yeah, you are. <clears throat> 
But that would be my suggestion. We do of course, this twice a year. We got a little time to think about it. Just do it once a year for right now. I think cancel the <coughs> fall pick clean up day right now. After what they did in the spring, they've abused the privilege. I think we should still have the fall junk days. Well, it's it's just like but I said about. The I don't really. I don't feel like we should pick up appliances, because those are just too heavy, and I'm that's to me that's asking too much out of the guys that are hard to hard to be garbage pick up. What right now do we refuse to pick up? Anything on the list we don't pick up on the paints and tires, tires and shingles, oil, shingles. We put on their construction material, you know, which would be two by fours or somebody or sheetrock or whatever. But we did go ahead and pick it up this time. Well, the other they were leaving on the street. Yep. What was that first thing you mentioned? We don't pick up tires, shingles, shot. oils, paint. Tires, what? Shingles. Oils. Well, we can always think about it a little bit and talk about it next month. We've got a little time for October, but I think if, if we, one thing we suggested was I had, this came on social media, setting up a garbage truck out here and giving two days and let the people come and bring the garbage here to put it in there. And you have to have a beaver dam, you have to have a driver's license driver's with a beaver dam address in I order to dump in it. In Butler County, I think that's what they do. They set up, um, Dumpsters. That's probably not a bad thought. You know, but but then I hear from people, well, I don't have a truck to haul it down to City Hall. Well, the real funny is you, you pull to the house and their truck will be hooked to their trailer with all this stuff sitting on it and expect us to transfer it. Throw it away. You know, they have, they have means of doing it, but anyway. And Wednesdays, it's free anyway. Hmm. But I've had a number of people tell me, I said, we would have to. Uh, one location in particular, they got stuck behind traffic. They'd have to stop and wait while somebody in the truck stopped to unload their truck on the side of the road on Main Street. And he said, these people weren't from town. Like we, we did have several calls, people calling and thanking us. Uh, Subway actually called and offered us a, a food tray for the employees. We, oh. didn't, we didn't take them up on it, but people are appreciative of it. Yeah. Well, that's why I hate to do with it all together. It's a big help. I know it's a big help for us, and a lot of times we don't have it much by the time the scavengers have hit it. I mean, <laughs> Mine was the cleaned out. He's just pulling out, out worth while, don't they? I put burn out grill out there, burn out. But I just feel like that something to think about is, when I say no appliances, no furniture, no mattresses. Yeah. Uh, well, the mattresses were kind of skeptical. skeptical. Well, of course, you know, you got bed bugs, and now we're yeah. carrying stuff onto our own house. And There's all kinds of and I don't think that a mattress can hold. When that was set up, I don't think that was the intent was to haul everybody's furniture off. I think, it was, you know, the stuff you collect that can't go in a bag and go in a garbage can throughout the year. And, and then there are certain stuff you're going to accumulate over the year that you would throw away. But some of the stuff, like I said, it was just beyond belief what were people were putting out there. Can we find out maybe what similar cities do? Now, Hartford, didn't they do away with their junk day? No, I think they still had it. I, I know this year here they did not take TVs and computers. I'm pretty sure it's starting on that. I'm not sure about appliances. Well, I saw enough TV setting that started on store. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But I do. I feel like appliances, but I just feel like that's asking too much of the guys. Well, but you stop to think about it. A sectional couch with a recliner in one end of it is about as bad as the bad appliance. Yeah. Yeah. It actually could be probably worse. Yeah, because it's so awkward sized, you can't. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got anything else? Uh, I've got a couple things I can wait to the closed session, just a couple little things. Uh, well, one Let's thing, go ahead and talk about it. The do donut guy, what's his name? I don't know. He's going to build. Timmy? I don't know his name. He's going to build a new store. He's a friend of yours, Lark. Main Street. And he had his plans drawn up. And they put in there one entrance and one exit. He's asked if he can have two, and he has done a sketch here. He went to Nancy, and Nancy, Nancy told him planning on it. He had to have a hundred foot, whatever. But she would approve it if the city was okay with it as well. Oh, how many feet does he have? Like ninety-four ish. He's not that close to any of the street intersections, so that would be too bad. Right. But right next to a street intersection, that's bad. Yes, yeah. sir. The so, oh, okay. up by the medical building oh, yeah. place. So what the plan is right now is just the one driveway? Dude, I know Flip this is different. It's a regular plan that he had. It's just had one driveway.
in the first page there is what Nancy had drawn, had drawn on her for him, what she would approve and the city was okay with it. You gonna put a drive through? Mm -hmm. That's better. Mm -hmm. That's, I didn't know that. Yeah, that drive through. He is gonna have some seating in there. Mm -hmm. Not as much as I thought though. I was hoping he'd have quite a bit because I think he'd stay busy. Yeah. He stays busy now. I know, but I think yes. if you had people go in, uh, I think you'd see. I like the drive through for people like me who like to go in their pajamas. <laughs> well, if you have a flat tire and then you have to get out of your car. Call Mike Allen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Just have to have I have a problem with it. I like it. I think that's well, I don't a think better. It's a cramp trying to get in and out of it. Do we need to approve that? In? Nancy said that she was okay with it at the city was, so I don't know if it needs approval. I would just see now. if she needs it. We can always do it again. The other thing I have is we have for closed session. Okay, we'll entertain a motion for closed session. Then. Motion to go closed session. Second. I can be I'm good now. We've already made the motion, we just got a vote. Which one? Don't go back to the open session. session. Open session, sorry. Okay, we have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. And I make a motion that we, elect, we hire David Hayes as a full time employee, and you've got the rates, or you do, does she know the rates? On the list. We're going to start out at 10 50 going to $11 an hour after 90 days. I'll second that. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, say, Kathy. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Larry? Yeah, uh, we need to. Uh, we have a 25 foot gooseneck trailer that the city purchased two years ago for $6,500. Uh, I've got a, uh, a guy that's wanting to buy for the same amount for $6,500. I just need the city approval to sell it. So move. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Uh, uh, opposed, saying. Letting you get in there. <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't know how many I got in on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was sending a message to my mom and dad so I didn't forget. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're talking about first reading. First, uh, yeah, the other item is the first reading of the budget for 21-22. I make a motion we accept the first reading. Second. We have a motion and a second. Fourth. Further discussion. Those in favor signify with aye. Uh, Opposed, same. That motion passes. Do we have anything else to bring up? Make a motion we adjourn. So good. We have a second. So thank you all. Well, I was going to get stuff for AB to write up. So we have the, mm -hmm. a lot of times on the first reading, we don't have to, but.